Today's topic was inspired by a conversation I had with a fellow comedian, Robert. And Robert and me were talking about grass and how it grows fast. And maintaining the grass can be quite difficult. Robert sent me a pamphlet of a 13-year-old kid looking for employment to mow yards. So I thought that was really cool. And I thought it'd be really cool to talk about our first jobs. You know, like, uh, so when I was 14, I went to work at a burger place and I think one of my highest paychecks was $420. And with that, I was able to purchase my very first cell phone. But uh, working at the burger place was perhaps the easiest job I've ever had. Everything when you're working in fast food usually has a pattern to it. You send the burgers through, they get cooked, you go to the other side, you catch them. Then you put in the fries, you get more burgers out to be ready to cook. You put timestamps on each burger compartment. Usually we were uh, 45 minutes in the warmer and then the burgers would have to be thrown away. And uh, yeah, it was it was an okay gig. And the reason why I bought a cell phone was because everybody at the skate park had a cell phone. And I thought that was the coolest thing. Like I, I never had a cell phone before and all these skaters I idolized and really enjoyed being around had a phone. So I bought myself my very first cell phone. Back in the day, when you sent a text message, it would cost 15 cents to send and 15 cents to receive. So uh, yeah, I, I liked talking to people more than I did texting. But now texting is a global phenomenon of epic entertainment and more people text versus call. So what was your very first job? Do you remember growing up? What was your very first job where you got paid actual hard cash or even maybe just a check and you had to go to the bank and turn it into hard cash? I don't know why. <laughs> There's something funny about me saying hard cash. Anyway, let me know down in the comments. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Tomorrow is Canada Day in Canada. Go figure, right? <laughs> so we're going to go and do some living tomorrow. And maybe I'll bring my, my good buddy, the uh, Insta360 ONE X2. You know, they just released a new camera. And uh, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it because this guy is doing amazing. So, yeah. I don't see the need to upgrade for now, as long as I'm not doing night shots. I'm never out at night anyway, because my mom always told me growing up, when the sun goes down, so do you.